This tutorial is for second grade module 8 lesson 14. In this lesson we're going to use skip counting by fives to help us tell time on a clock. The first direction says to fill in the missing numbers and you can see we've started skip counting backwards by five. So we have 60, 55, 50. I'm going to continue counting backwards by fives here, filling them in. And what you'll notice on our pattern here, anytime we skip count by fives, our ones digit gives us the pattern of every other number is zero and every other number is five. So it's always good to pay attention to that kind of pattern. Now we'll see how this helps us tell time on the clock. The directions say fill in the missing numbers on the face of the clock to show the minutes. So we're focusing on the minutes in each section, meaning I know that on my clock this would be the number one on the clock, but I'm asking how many minutes that is past the 12. So I have the 12 here. If I'm thinking about time, if I'm let's say exactly on 3 o'clock, then I would not show any minutes on my minute hand. That would be zero minutes after three o'clock. If my minute hand were pointing at the one, that would tell me I have five minutes past the 12. And you can see one, two, three, four, five. There's five sections between the 12 and the one, so that's five minutes. The next number would be two, but that would show me 10 minutes because we have another group of five here. So I'm gonna continue around the clock putting in my minutes. If the minute hand were pointing at 3, that would be 15 minutes. If it were pointing at 4, that would be 20 minutes. If it were pointing at 5, that would be 25 minutes. Halfway around the circle is 30 minutes. If the minute hand pointed at the 7, that would be 35 minutes. Pointing at the 8 gives us 40 minutes. If it pointed at the 9, that would be 45 minutes. At the 10 is 50 minutes, the 11 is 55 minutes, and then a complete rotation around the circle back up to the 12 will give us a total of 60 minutes. Now we're going to draw the hour in minute hands on the clocks to match the correct time. The first one is 3.05 or 5 minutes after 3. I'm going to start by drawing my minute hand first, and that's my longer hand. I know it has to be five minutes past the 12, and again, each section between the numbers is five minutes. So my minute hand will point at the one. My hour hand is going to be past the three. Well, since I'm only five minutes past three o'clock, it's not going to be past the three very much. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit past the three and of course that hand will be shorter because the shorter hand is the hour hand. Moving over to the next clock, now we're showing 335. So if I skip count by fives around my clock, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So the minute hand would be pointing at the 7 to show the 35. Again, the hour hand is past 3. This time, it's quite a bit past 3. So we're going to show the hour hand a little bit closer to the 4 because it's getting closer to 4 o'clock. In the next clock, I have 410. So if I start at the top and skip count again, I would have 510. My minute hand is pointing at the 2. The hour hand needs to point just a little bit past the four. So we'll do that again. And then move on to our last clock. We have 440. Now I know if I go halfway around the clock, that's 30 minutes. So I'm gonna skip count from 30. So I have 30, 35, 40. 40 minutes would mean my minute hand is pointing at the eight and it's past four o'clock. Again, it's quite a bit past four o'clock, so we're gonna kinda make that hour hand a little bit closer to five, because it's almost five o'clock. And in my last section, I'm simply going to give the time. So the first clock, 
I can see that the hour hand is past the 7, not to the 8 yet. So I'm going to mark that my hour is around 7, and my minute hand is on the 5. Skip counting around the clock, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. When the minute hand is pointing at the 5, it's 25 minutes past the hour of 7. And one more question here. I have a clock. The hour hand is in between the 12 and the 1. Not quite to the 1 yet, though. So it's still in the 12 o'clock hour. So I'll put that down. And the minute hand has moved almost completely around the clock. If it did go completely around, that would be 60 minutes. But it's 5 minutes less than that. So 5 minutes less than 60 would be 55. So this clock shows the time of 12.55.